Okay, this is a review on Homefront. Homefront is a first person shooter action game for the PS3. Um, I personally really love this game. Um, you start out, well, this is just a demo. You start out with Battle Commander and Ground and the more uh, defense one. Battle, well, I'm doing Battle Commander. This one you basically have to kill more people than the other team. Um, you can see the directions. <coughs> the gameplay is very fluent, I could say, obviously, if you have enough space. Um, you'll see that when I start playing. Um, there are very, the there are very great sounds, and the graphics, I really love the graphics. I mean, the graphics are just amazing. Every single detail shows up there. You may not be able to see it on here, but it, it's so detailed. From the shadows to the trees to the junk spread all over. Um, so the gameplay, as you can see, this is online. You could either do online or story mode. And, and as you can see, well, I got killed, but, yeah, back to the graphics. Um, the graphics are very good, yeah, it shows every detail, everything. Um, and yeah, so the graphics are just amazing. Um, and with the gameplay, yeah, as you can, as you can see, it will, you can, ch you can choose your weapons. You choose your attachments, your grenades, rocket launchers. Basically, you get kind of whatever weapons you want if you have the full version of the game. Um, Homefront's a very good game. It's addicting. And the, the best part is, about online mode, it's not that hard. Obviously, I'm not that good, as you can see. But it's not that hard to kill, and the controls are very good. Oh, wow, I just went flying. Um, see, as you can see, this is the weapon selection. Also, <coughs> if you if you get enough BP, which lets battle points, as you can see in the corner, right over here, then you can get new things. Like, for instance, I have 500 BP, so I could get the battle drone. As you can see, I'm using the battle drone. The battle drone... It's basically a car that, that that can shoot enemies down. Now, you know, I don't. I didn't get, get in a good hiding spot. You have to get in a good hiding spot, or else enemies can still kill you because you're controlling the battle. Um. Well, this game also takes place in the future, as you can see, since it's so trashed. Um, there's another drone up there. There's lots of flying drones. There's also slots that you can put, um, that you can put techniques in, like mine, mine is, one of mine is faster, I can, like, I can go faster and I can aim faster. As you can see, I have my pistol out, oh crap, I'm shooting my teammate. But yes, Homefront's a very good game. Um, you can do pretty much whatever you want, you could signal enemies, you could go in tanks, you can go in cars, helicopters, y yeah, you could. E you can even get your own attachments. I mean, it's just an amazing game. Um, there are sometimes, um, one thing about online mode, there's sometimes what, um, sometimes people will lag, obviously, because of their connection. Sometimes, like that, um, it makes it so you can't really see that good. Sometimes it just doesn't register. But the controls are fairly, fairly good. If you want to sprint like me, then you hold down R, R3 in the direction you want to move. And then if you want to, if you want to reload, it, it's at, it's square. Um, if, if you want to shoot, it's R1. If you want to look down your scope like this, it's L1. Throw a stun grenade. L2 and to throw a grenade, it's R1, R R2, and yes, and obviously to aim and everything, well to steer the camera, it's the right analog stick, and then yes, um, how to get the special we weapons? 
you, it'll, it'll say in the corner over here, either up, in the, up on the D-pad or down on the D-pad. Um, and yes, the controls are fairly good, like I said. And then, yeah, that guy's in a helicopter. And yes, I give Homefront a 9.5 out of 10, with the rating of Epic.